Okay, today I wanted to show you a neat little 12 volt water pump that I found in a Toyota Prius. Uh, these are out of a Toyota Prius anywhere from 2004 to 2009. Uh, they're 12 volt electric. They have three nice little uh, rubber mounts on them to easily mount it to things. It has two terminals in here, 12 volt. And uh, if you do get one from the wreckers, make sure you you get this nice uh, plug that plugs right into it because it's it's uh, weather packed. And I've found that uh, this can be submerged in water and work quite nicely for weeks. I I had it in a in a bucket and I had it running for two weeks and it it uh, didn't leak at all into the terminal. So it is weather packed and. And, and good for moisture. Um, so let's have a look at another one. I picked up two of them and I took one of them and, and I was curious as to what was inside so I, I uh, it's all thermally molded together so you really can't take these apart but you can see inside there's a there's a little screw that does hold something together so I, I cut around here and I took it apart so basically in this uh, little motor there's a an impeller and there's your input and your output holes and let's take this apart here there's just one screw in the center and this slides out so there's no real uh, brushes or anything in here it's looks like it's a you know it's thermally molded motor an induction motor the windings are inside of that plastic there the back of it is epoxy filled, like a squishy rubbery stuff, completely sealed. And it looks like there's a stainless steel shaft there. And this part here, the impeller, is uh, it's just a, it's a magnet. And uh, so once that's the induction motor starts up, the magnet takes over and just uh, spins spins it up. And it looks like there's little tiny flutes in the uh, shaft there so that the water can lubricate the shaft as it's running. This uh, this pump it doesn't it's not self priming you do have to prime it to get it going but it works quite nicely and I'll give you a demonstration here as to how much amperage it draws and uh, how much water it'll pump. Okay so let's put this in in some water and we'll see how it, uh, it pumps. as you can see it's a it's a pretty powerful little guy. Let me see if I can get this to uh, shoot straight up. So that's really moving quite a bit of water. It's pretty powerful. Let's uh, let's see how much amperage this thing takes. Okay as you can see uh, the pump here is running on uh, that's the voltage that it's running on right now to give it that uh, that amount of, of water output. Now let's uh, check the amperage. And you can see that it, uh, the amperage draw for this little guy is uh, 1.776 or so. That thing just uh, drew my finger in. Okay, so now we'll try to hook this up to a solar panel, and this one that I'm going to hook it up to is uh, it's 16.9 volts, 3 amps. We're not going to even put a battery in, in the circuit. We're just going to hook the pump up directly to the panel and see what happens. Yeah, it's working quite nicely. So let's see what the voltage is at for this guy. And that's running at, uh, at 14, 14 point, point 12, 13, 14 volts. And it's still pumping up really good. Let's, uh, let's leave it going for, uh, for a little while and, and see how it, uh, how it makes out.
can see how the pump stops when I block out the solar panel. It starts back up on its own, but uh, once the sun's back out, it seems to work quite nicely just uh, on a straight panel without any, uh, any batteries attached. As you can see too, this pump is really quiet. Um, you know, it's, it's flowing really good there. And I'll bring this up as close as I can, but you can, you can hear the thing is, uh, all you can hear really is the water. It makes a little bit of a, a rumble, but uh, very, very small amount of noise. Very quiet. 